going to do is we're going to put up the tomato steaks. Now I'm not going to be planting these tomatoes for another week or so, but I really want to get these steaks put up because they're in the way. You know, one thing about buying homesteading supplies is once you have them, you pretty much have them for life. And that's what I have. So they're many years old. That there is concrete rebar, and that works amazing. Somebody was giving it away, and I love having them because they're really sturdy. My tomatoes can actually bend those green stakes. So, hey, if you can get some rebar, that works amazing. All right, I'm going to get to work and enjoy the video. Now for my heavier tomatoes, we're going to use the rebar. Sometimes they don't want to go in very well. That's just the way it is, and then you have to find a spot that works better. give you a different perspective in life. With all the doom and gloom that we're hearing on the news in the world that we live in, I want to share with you something of a different way of looking at things. Many people would say the American dream is dead and gone, but I disagree. I think the American dream is very much alive. It's alive in the hearts of the people. I've seen a lot of resilience and a lot of determination. I've seen a lot of people do things to create a dream of their life. I'm living the American dream. What was the American dream? Well, back in the 1950s, it was to earn an income and have a small homestead with that white picket fence. While a lot of people have lost their income over this time, 
A lot of people are thinking outside the box. A lot of things are happening that are doing good in this world. It's not all doom and gloom and the American dream is not dead. It's very much alive. In fact, I think it's more alive today than ever before. I think people are staying home and realizing what do they have in their own little homesteads. And they're mowing their lawn, they're growing gardens, they're learning to can food, they're learning to take care of the things that they have on their own property. They're doing all of these things. And that is the American dream, is to live in a home and to have a place that you can enjoy in life. And I see that. When you take a drive, look at the people's homes. They're taking better care of them. The hustle and the bustle of the everyday life suddenly came to a stop. And you know what? Maybe that's not such a bad thing after all. Maybe that can teach us all what it's like to be at home and to learn to enjoy the things that we own instead of always wondering what we can buy tomorrow. Why don't we look and see what we can save today? You may call me naive. Maybe I am. But you know what? There's nothing wrong in being naive. It's nothing wrong in seeing your cup half full instead of half empty. You know what I'm realizing? That people are starting to take control of their own lives. They're starting to realize, hey, what can I do if I can't go to the store like I used to? Hey, what can I do to create wonderful meals at home? People are not living for McDonald's anymore. People are not living for the malls and getting their hair done. I say people are learning to live their life. I say people have a dream and they're making a dream come true. They're enjoying the things and becoming more self-sufficient. I say the American dream is very much alive and well in the hearts of its people. The goal of my channel has always been to look outside the box. The goal of my channel was always to make you think and always to tug a little bit at your heartstrings. Thank you guys so much for enjoying my videos and giving me so much kindness in your life. And thank you so much for letting me in your life and sharing parts of your life with me. Do you think the American dream is dead and gone or are you starting to see some things that I am? People are starting to make a difference, at least in the area that I'm living in.